Well guys, it's springtime out here at the cabin and uh, it's time to start unearthing some of the things that the snow has been uh, hiding for the last seven or eight months. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, see if we can't get the four-wheeler out and running so we can start getting around without the snow machines. Snow. It's frozen the tarp. Down pretty good. Well, moment of truth now. This thing has just been sitting here all winter. Come on, man. Sucker sounds dead. So far, no dice. Oh, ho! Oh. How about that? Houston, we have liftoff. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's gonna work. Yeah. Okay, let's give this baby a go. Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. Well, this thing's actually, seems like it's running great. Got our wheels back. Four years old, and still fires right up after sitting underneath the snow all winter. A couple of ducks just landed in my pond. Let's see if we can get a look at them. All right, well, sorry for the distraction. Had a mating pair of mallards come land on my pond. While I was over there walking, I realized that there was a moose bedded down. Uh, just underneath the tree, right over on the side of the cabin, and I spooked him, just a little baby moose. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's springtime, and the, the woods are alive with animals, and I just had a couple of big sandhill cranes go over, so this has got me thinking that uh, I've gotta get down to the river and see if I can't catch the first trout of the year. The river should be open and flowing, and I might have to use snowshoes to get in there. Probably take the working four-wheeler and head down to the river later today and see if we can't catch a fish. Anyway, it's good to be alive. I'm usually a pretty diehard fly fisherman. Since it's super early season and I gotta wear snowshoes and I'm just, just really testing the waters, I think I'm gonna just grab a spin rod and keep it easy for today. Uh, but I still cast flies with my spin rod. I just, uh, just big streamers and stuff like that. So anyway, got some flies, got my rod. Let's get all packed up. This is where the pavement ends and there's a solid couple feet of snow but see if it's packed enough for me to get my four-wheeler up there
tell you what, this is a tricky time of year for getting around. The snow can freeze hard overnight and have a nice firm surface for walking on early in the day. So you go out and you think you're good to go. And then it starts to soften up in the afternoon sun. And boy, you can really get yourself in a pickle where you can't get back. Snow is so mushy, my snowshoes aren't even doing anything. It's sinking right down in it anyway. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Still a lot of snow and ice. We'll see what we can do. Oh. And it's time to catch a fish. Sure is nice to hear the sound of the river flowing again. A few feet of snow on the bank, but it'll be gone soon enough. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty surprised I haven't uh, hooked anything. The trout are pretty opportunistic this time of year after just coming out of a long winter underneath the ice. Might have been smarter to come down here in the evening when the bite's traditionally on, but, or maybe they're not here. This is kind of that early season window. Pretty soon when the snow gets uh, really melting up in the mountains, all the rivers will blow out for quite a while. So anyway, we're gonna keep trying. The trout in these systems are really migratory and they'll move from one watershed to the other throughout the summer. All right, well, I'm calling it good. No fish today. So uh, either they're not here, they're not biting, or who knows what, so. But uh, no complaints here. I still got plenty of sunshine and worked up a good appetite. So it's time to head back to the cabin and uh, I got a special dinner planned out. We're gonna get the barbecue going and do up a tasty one, so. All right, well, no fish today, but that's all right. Still got plenty of sunshine, exercise. Any day out fishing is a day better than sitting around. And if you need to catch fish to enjoy fishing, you're in the wrong sport, my friend. Didn't even get stolen. How about that?
I want to show you guys something. This is the first mosquito of the season. So it begins, my friends. They call this time of year breakup when all the snow melts. And boy, I tell you what, it is a mushy season. It's just mucky, mucky and wet. And uh, yeah, the ground's frozen underneath so the snow doesn't have anywhere to melt and drain into. It's kind of a hard season to do much of anything with because you can't really get a four wheeler out on the snow and your snow machine really can't get around in this stuff either. All right, I told you I was gonna cook up something delicious tonight and uh, we got a nice chunk of flank steak. And uh, I'm gonna get it going with the marinade and put it on the barbecue. So I've never actually done this exactly. So I'm just gonna do some guessing. I'm gonna put some A1. And a little balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna try out this uh, Weber cowboy seasoning. Of course, a little bit of garlic. Salt. All right. Smells good, we'll see. So we'll let this marinade for an hour or so, and uh, I'm gonna get some asparagus going while we wait and get the coal started on the barbecue. Going. So I'm using a lot of coals because I want this thing to be going nice and hot. Kind of helps render down all the fat in the steak too if you cook it really hot. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret of mine. For cooking steak, I think flame is the best if you've ever had steak right on an open fire. It's really just delicious, so I think really, really hot heat is good. So I take these wood chips and I put them right in the coals, put the grill on, then I'm actually gonna have um, hickory flames coming up and uh, really charring and searing the outside of the steak. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. 